What I would like to ask of everyone here is that we increasingly work together, uh, individuals and organisations, and by doing this, place the arts far more visibly and centrally as we address environmental challenges, that the arts sector proffers so much uh, alongside the facts and figures, the politics, the technology and business contributions in addressing climate change and sustainability. We want to work collectively to put the spotlight on the incredible things that are happening through an Arts Day as part of the growing campaign that so many of us uh, are already actioning. And to show at one moment what is often so fragmented and often so hidden, uh, and indeed to encourage far more, I mean the far more in the arts uh, that, we could, that we could bring in. Uh, and if ever we needed it, we need it now. Uh, the inspiration and the insights of our poets, uh, our musicians, our architects, our dancers and performers, our visual artists, our creative sector and the support and engagement of key institutions, um, Arab, the RIBA, Tate, Greenpeace, very much amongst them. So we will follow up with all of you uh, and ask for one or more of the following. Of course your support, your ideas, your, your really frank ideas actually, your information on what's being planned for next year, your money, if you have some, would be very great, uh, Essentially, your partnership. Uh, at the RSA with the Arts Council, we're developing a centre at the interface between the arts and environmental issues, and there are many interfaces. We're not the only one. And what I kind of have a, a, a vision of, I think, along with a lot of colleagues in other organisations and other places, that we develop a far better ecology between...